Peggy 7. The opportunity to work with, with Marv Wolfman was incredible to me. I knew this guy as the editor-in-chief at Marvel Comics. He was one of the first story editors of Disney Adventures magazine. I don't think you could grow up in America and not be a fan of the Disney material. I watched the shows all the time. I saw the cartoons. I really love the early Disney black and white cartoons. I'm a huge fan of that. He totally gets the characters. He has a deep understanding of the Disney universe. When I heard that we actually had him on as the contracted writer in the game, it was just like, yes. <laughs> it was very cool. The first Epic Mickey sets up Wasteland. The attitude of the characters were all there. Mickey's plucky demeanor, Oswald's questionable look and feels about everything. We took off of that and then took it to another step beyond that. Comics, as a writer, I control everything. Video games are unique in that the player is affecting things and therefore as a writer you have to take that into account and give the information that's necessary in ways that give them the freedom to go off and do it the way they want. This time around, one of the main goals is the player direction within levels. And for me as a story, it's also how do you focus the player towards his story goal. Mickey and Oswald are together most of the game. What you have to do is create a sense of two characters working together you're not writing expository sentences, you're writing dialogue, you're writing conversation. That forces the characters to actually relate to each other. You look at these characters and you just sort of know inside your head how they should act. But I've worked with artists all my career and that's exactly how I do it in comic books or in animation as well. You get inspired by the artwork and Disney art is very specific and it's beautiful. 